My Language Labs contain voice recording activities, which make use of the Blackboard Collaborate voice recording and audio playback tool. This tutorial will show you how to use it. You can access voice recording activities through course materials or through the calendar. This calendar has a voice recording activity assigned to it. On your list of assignments, voice recording activities are very easy to identify. They all say voice recording after them. Click the title of the activity to begin. Let's look at how the voice recording tool actually works. When you open the activity, you'll see this record button. To actually record, you need to click on it so the voice recording tool appears. Here's the voice recording tool. If this doesn't show up on your computer, make sure to go back to the browser tune-up, which is accessible from the Today's View page. You may need to update your software. This row of buttons contains the same symbols you would find on any DVD or Blu-ray player. Record, Play, Pause, and Stop. Here's an example of how you would record. Test. You can always know if your recording is successful by looking at the meter on the right. Notice the colors that will appear when I play the recording. Test. If you weren't satisfied with your first recording, you can always do it again. Click record again and override the current recording. If you look at the top right, you can see how much time is left in your current recording. Most activities are set to have five minutes worth of recording time. On the left is time elapsed. Your recording will be saved to the gradebook once you click on Finish Submit for Grading. However, if you want to save any recording in another format or to a different location, you may do so. Click on the icon at the top right of the player. Then click Save As. Here, you can choose the format and save location that you desire. 